communication is two-way. So we went out to everybody, like Ms. Sheffer said, and asked that question of what we want our students to know, be able to do, and be like when they graduated. We asked that of our community members. We asked that of our staff members. We asked that of the parents in our community. We asked that of ourselves. Um, we went back to the table with all of that and developed the strategic plan. So we listened first because it wasn't our plan. It was our community's plan. Um, the things that we needed to represent needed to represent our whole community. And we were at a point where we knew we kind of had to change direction of our organization. We needed a new North Star. Um, Steve has coined this phrase that you see on the PowerPoint. Well, um, our previous leadership uh, was very focused on test scores. Um, so much so that all conversation was about a arbitrary number that you got from a test given once a year. So in, in our conversation with our community, it came very clear that wasn't as important to them as it may have been to some others, because again, it was a number to them. So we moved very quickly. Uh, we found out we gotta go from scores to relationships. And in that, the scores to the relationships piece is our community wanted good solid people to come out of our school system. That meant they wanted our graduates to be great community members. They wanted them to be great parents to their kids, to be able to teach them right from wrong, teach them how to read, teach them to be con contributing community members themselves. So we wanted to produce solid citizens that would give back to our community, grow up and take leadership roles, have a good education to build that on, but it wasn't about what kind of score they could make on a test. It was who they could be and what they could contribute to our community or their communities that they ended up in later in life. So from scores to relationships, we moved forward with our plan and developed our strategic plan. And then you have this plan and you want to make sure it happens. You have to communicate that back to um, your community and all the stakeholders that gave you the information to start with um, so that they buy in and own it along with this. So whenever we go back to our stakeholders, we took the plan back, laid it in front of them and said, is this what you told us? Do you see your voice in this? What is missing? What did we get off on track with? And they gave us feedback and we took it and we changed it along the way and then went back to them again and said, does this resemble more what you told us you wanted to, to see in it? We had so many people excited that they saw their voice in our plan for our school system and also that we were also getting the feedback from them. So we met with principals, Staff at every school, um, Ms. Sheffer and myself and Steve went to the schools and presented the plan, listened to them, made notes, sent back out and showed them where we changed based on what they said. Um, the board meeting and the media promoted it. We went to every civic organization. We went to the Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development, our ministerial association, and a lot of people forget um, they say, oh, we need to separate church and state. They're also community members who have large congregations and um, a great impact on how you spread your message. Um, and so their buy-in was critical in helping us advance this plan. And then we don't have on the list, but we also took it to our fiscal court um, for their support in it. 